to my kitchen. In today's show, I'll be making rosemary chicken with garlic, roasted asparagus served in Parmesan crisp bowl, and rosemary garlic buns. We'll start off with making the dough for the rosemary garlic buns. Add half cup of low warm water. Temperature is in between 80 and 90 Fahrenheit. To this, I'll add five teaspoons of dry yeast, equivalent to two envelopes. And let it sit for about five minutes. I heated the remaining one cup of milk to hot. To this, I'll add one and a half sticks of butter, which is three fourth cup of butter. I slice the butter. Let it sit for about a minute or so for the butter to melt in the hot milk. We'll set this on the side. Then I'll add five cups of bread flour to the yeast mixture. This is nice and flaky dough because of the butter and the milk. It's really nice and flavorful. Then add one fourth cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt. And we mix all these ingredients together. We want to make sure the butter pieces are all melted before we add it to the flour mixture. Now the butter is melted. Slowly we'll add it to the flour mixture and we'll keep mixing. change the mixing attachment and the dough hook attachment to finish kneading the dough. This is really nice and flaky dough. Brush the bowl with some olive oil. What a nice, beautiful dough. It's kind of soft, not really, not too soft, actually. It's nice and smooth. We'll transfer it to this bowl, turn around to coat all surface with oil, and then we'll cover it with some saran wrap. Clean kitchen towel. 
and I'll let it sit for about hour to hour and a half or until it's double in thickness. Now I'm ready to prepare the garlic for roasting. I'll use about maybe five to six garlic heads. What I would do is I'll cut about half an inch, quarter to half an inch of the top. We'll discard that. I'll use the garlic roaster. If you don't have one, you can just use a pie dish and we'll, then we'll cover it with some uh, foil. So I'll arrange the garlic heads on the garlic roaster. This is a great way to use garlic, roasted garlic. You can um, have it on a piece of bread or you can serve it, mash it and serve it as a sauce or you can also use it uh, for maybe uh, with some chicken, some fish. It's a great condiment that goes with many, many dishes. I'll use one more. It's room for one more. That will be good. So what I would do is I'll brush the tops with some olive oil. with some salt and pepper just to season everything just enough and then I'll have some fresh rosemary leaves Chop them real fine. Smells so, so good. Love using fresh herbs whenever I can. I try to find them all the time, if they are in season or not, because they give you that amazing, amazing flavor and smell, and it's very intense. If you don't have fresh rosemary, you can just use dried rosemaries. So I'll chop the rosemaries real fine. And we'll just sprinkle over the top of the garlic heads. And we'll cover it. I have my oven preheated to 450. I'll roast the garlic in the oven for about 45 minutes to one hour, depending on the size of the garlic. Now we are ready to prepare the chicken dish. For this chicken dish, we need a lot of garlic. We need about maybe 20 to 30 cloves of garlic, and that's what makes this dish so amazing. So what I would do is, I will peel the garlic cloves. We don't have to chop them or anything. We're just using whole garlic. And I like to use this gadget for peeling the garlic. All what you have to do is put about maybe three to four pieces and roll it and this will help peel off the skin real easily. Now we are ready to cut out our chicken. I have two roasted chickens. They're about three to four pounds each. I will cut them out into maybe six to eight pieces. I'm 
I wash the chicken and back dry it. Now I'll season the chicken with some black pepper. some salt. To cook the chicken, about maybe three to four tablespoons of olive oil. I'll heat it up in this large satay pan. We'll wait for it to heat up. Then I'll drench every piece of chicken and some flour. Make sure you coat all the pieces and the flour and shake it. We'll brown the chicken on both sides. the pieces of chicken with flour will give you that nice brown crust and it's also going to make the sauce that we're going to use nice and thick. We'll cook it in about two batches because our satay pan is not uh, large enough to hold all the pieces. We'll turn the chicken to the other side. And we'll brown all the sides. Now the chicken is brown from both sides. I'll transfer it to this dish. The second batch is already done. We'll transfer it to the same plate. the garlic we'll just set it for about maybe one minute golden The garlic is nice and golden. To this, I'll add one cup of white wine, dry white wine. And two cups of chicken broth.
the mixture is coming to a boil. We'll turn the heat down to medium and then we'll cover it and we'll cook it for about 15 minutes. Now, the garlic is almost soft. The sauce is nice and thicker and smells amazing. Now we will add the chicken pieces back in the pan. Skin side up. to make sure all the pieces gonna fit in there. Squeeze this right in here. And one last piece. Perfect. And then we we'll put the lid back on and we'll continue cooking the chicken for about 40 to 45 minutes until nice and tender. The garlic is already roasted and it's been cooling off for a few minutes. Now, to make the mashed roasted garlic, what I would do is, I'll just squeeze out all the garlic pieces. Smells so, so good. Squeeze it out. See how it comes out? Just squeeze all the pieces out. Nice and soft. Just use this to mash it. I'll season with some black pepper and some salt. And just mash it like that. It's nice and soft. I'll add some chopped rosemary to it. A little bit more. Mix it real good. Mm. Now the dog has been sitting out for over an hour and a half. It's nice and red. It's doubled in size. We'll dust work surface with some flour. Divide it in half. Set this on the side. Then. It's amazing though. It's nice and flaky and it's real nice though to work with. I will roll it out to about maybe Maybe about 10 by 13 or 14 rectangle should be good. I'll brush the whole surface with the roasted garlic and rosemary. And now I will cut it out into, let's see, cut it out into 12 pieces. Looks 
like that. Take each piece out and fold it over to enclose. Make sure all the garlic paste is inside and then it will go on one of these molds. If you don't have one of these molds, you can just line them up on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Make sure you leave enough space in between them. So this is seam side down. They'll go back in there. These are really, really nice rolls to serve any time of the day and especially with the chicken dish that we are making, they go perfectly with that. Do the same thing for the other portion. Nice pliable dough. And brush the whole surface with the remaining garlic. We'll cover them for about 10 minutes to rest. The bread has been resting for about 15 minutes. Now, what I'll do is I'll brush them with some eggs. Brushing them with eggs will give you that nice golden brown rolls. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. And we'll bake them for about 12 to 15 minutes until golden brown. golden and I wish you can be here and smell these wonderful wonderful buns the smell of garlic the rosemary it's amazing set them on the side to cool off now we are ready to make the parmesan crisp bowl I have three kinds of cheese in this. I combined one cup of mozzarella cheese, one cup of sharp cheddar cheese, and two cups of grated or shredded Parmesan cheese. What I would do is, I'll take about a few mounds of the cheese, spread it thinly into a circle, 
on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. This looks good. You want to make sure we leave enough space in between them because once they bake in the oven, they'll spread and they'll get much bigger than this. Now, these will bake in the oven. I have preheated the oven to 350 degrees. They'll bake in the oven for five to seven minutes until golden and crisp. The cheese is done. Look how nice and golden and crispy it looks. We'll set it on the side for maybe about two minutes until we'll be until we'll be able to handle the cheese because it's way way too hot. Now to form the cheese into balls, what we need to do is we'll transfer the cheese crisp over rumpkins, or you can use any kind of ball, and then press the sides to mold, let it cool to crispen. Just drape it over the ball and then we'll let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes to cool off and then it will be nice and crispy and it will be solid and it is gonna form into a ball. To make the roasted asparagus salad, we need to start off with roasting the asparagus. I want asparagus and dry them and now I need to sprinkle with some black pepper and some salt and I have them lined and baking sheet lined with parchment paper and drizzle some olive oil and make sure they all coat it with olive oil and then they'll go in the oven to roast. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. The roast in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. For the dressing for the salad, I'll be using infused olive oil. I'll be using infused olive oil with some rosemary and some garlic. So what we do is, I'll some extra virgin olive oil in a jar like this. I like to use good quality olive oil. It's good. Then I put about five to six cloves of garlic. Use a smaller one. about a couple sprigs of rosemary just will go right in there should be good and we'll leave this for about three to four days to get all the flavor from the garlic and rosemary and to make sure we have maximum, maximum flavor of the herbs and the garlic. And this is a great olive oil to use, to drizzle over bread, to sprinkle over salad, or even to dip into bread. I'm using romaine lettuce for the salad. Chop it kind of coarsely, not real fine, not into large pieces. And this will go in here. Okay. 
to make the dressing. I'll use one lemon. We'll roll the lemon back and forth. Doing it like that, it will help release all the lemons that's in there. So it will be easy for us to squeeze as much lemon juice as possible from the lemon. A simple dressing to this slowly I'll add some of the infused uh, rosemary garlic olive oil this was made about three days ago so it has next flavor and has intense flavor of the rosemary and the garlic together so you add the olive oil slowly To the lemon juice, looks good, season with some black pepper and some salt, and we'll set it aside, we'll check on our asparagus, they look nice and roasted. They smell so, so good. We don't want to overcook them because we still want to keep the green color and the texture of the asparagus in our salad. We'll set them on the side to cool off completely. We don't want to have warm asparagus in our salad because that's going to wilt our salad. Asparagus are cooled off. I'll roughly chop them in an angle. They'll go with the feathers. This is a great, great salad for any time of the year. Especially when cold days, it reminds you of summer. The freshness of all the ingredients, the dressing, it's really, really great to have. whisk our dressing and add it look how nice and creamy the dressing is smells so good the infused olive oil makes such a big difference in the salad and then we mix it now serve it we release the cheese from the rumpkins set them on the ball look how beautiful they look look at this color it's real nice You can make the cheese balls a day or two or even three days before and just leave them in a the fridge until you are ready to serve them. Now we'll serve in the bowl. Have some asparagus, some lettuce. Such a refreshing salad, beautiful colors. Now we are ready to finish cooking our chicken. We need to make the sauce. What I would do first is I will arrange the chicken. Look how nice and tender the chicken is. Bones are falling off the meat. We'll arrange this 
nice large platter smells amazing garlic chopped rosemary now we'll to mash the garlic look how nice and tender and soft everything is smell the wine the garlic it smells amazing try to mash it to almost like making like a puree and that will be our sauce that goes on top of the chicken Can use some garlic pieces if we have any left. It would be nice to have on top of the chicken. This is how much time we have for today. In today's show, we made rosemary chicken with garlic. Roasted asparagus salad served in Parmesan bowl and rosemary garlic buns. Thank you so much for coming to my kitchen and enjoy these beautiful dishes that we made today. We hope to see you next time with more exotic dishes.